What's going on, E Nation fans? Disney Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another diecast review. And today, I just got this diecast, IndyCar diecast, in the mail uh, a few minutes ago. And this diecast review is going to be on Marco Andretti's 2013 RC Cola Chevrolet Dallara from Andretti Autosport. And of course, you know, like. A bunch of DW12 cars from like 2012, 2014. They are very rare nowadays. But thankfully, I got this piece of beauty right here for $9.99. Free shipping on eBay, of course. And it was the only one. So, yeah, I had to get it. So, let's review the box real quick. Uh, there's the die cast, Marco Andretti. Eight, eight plus years old, 164. This comes with one die cast and one trading card. Eyes Out IndyCar Series. Anybody remember the Eyes Out IndyCar Series? I sure do. Got 25, Marco Andretti. Got the 2012 Indy 500 at the background. You got Eyes Out IndyCar Series. Andretti Auto Sports. And you got limited edition die cast metal chassis, green light. And let's see what the back says. And you got uh, die cast metal chassis again, limited edition, green light collectibles, number 25, Marco Andretti. Andretti Auto Sport. And here's the information if you do want to read it. If you want to read it, give it pause. All right. And then you got Izad. Is that focus? You got Izad IndyCar Series. Once again, you got the copyright stuff from 2013. Indianapolis Motor Speedway uh, um, license product. IndyCar license product. The Lara Firestone. You got the QR code, barcode, official license product. And you got 8 plus 164, contains one diecast card, one train card. Also, I opened this diecast up because when I got this diecast in the mail, the, the packaging was like beat up like, like this. I tried to fix it, but it was like all bent down, so I did my best to like fix it. So yeah, that's why um, the, uh, like, I, op I opened the diecast, so yeah. That being said, let's get this car out of its box. And here we go. Alrighty, the car it is out of its box. I had to stop the video because I wanted to get the flash on. Hopefully so y'all can see it better. So yeah, with that being said, let's get on with the diecast review, shall we? So... Here it is. Uh, we got the. Oh, let me get it in focus. You got number twenty-five. You got Firestone Firehawk tires. Oh crap! Hang on. And on the rear pods, you got these sponsors. I can't even see. I don't know what it says. And then, and then you got Eyes Out IndyCar Series. You got Marco Andretti's name. I assume this is the American flag logo. Uh, you got a Chevrolet logo, UFD, which stands for United Fiber and Data. Uh, Andretti Outsports Twitter account, uh, at follow Andretti. Got MilwaukeeIndieFest.com. Man, I miss IndyCar racing at Milwaukee. Can we get, like, a throwback weekend there, please? That would be awesome. You got, um, got RC, which is Royal Crown Cola. Has anyone had Royal, uh, has anyone had RC Cola before? I don't think I've had it before. Is it good? You got RC once again. You got Firestone. You got Chevy.com on the nose. You got... RC, you got 25, you got Chevy logo, Eyes at Car Series, GoDaddy.com, RC, DHL, Delara, two RC Cola logos on the, on the front wings. And then on the front nose, you got the Andretti Autosport logo with his signature silver nose. Uh, nothing on the, the wing plates. I uh, got same side as the left. And the, the problem I have with this die cast is the pods. When I first opened up this diecast, because, you know, the patch packaging was, like, damaged. Um, when I got it, I, I had to fix it. I noticed the pods were sideways. At first, I thought it was the, the, the rear wings were sideways, which is... Kind of is? I don't know, but the, the real problem is the pods. And sadly, I don't think you can do anything with the pods. I don't think you can, like, fix it. And, um, yeah, I think this how it normally should be but for some reason it's just sideways so yeah and i don't want to like mess with it because i don't want to mess with it like more or because it's gonna get damaged i don't want to break it so yeah i guess i'll just leave it as it is i don't know if green light did that or like the previous diecast owners did that i don't know what the hell is this 
And then you got the um, the rear uh, tail lights. And on the rear wing, you got MilwaukeeIndieFest.com. Does that website still exist? I'm curious. So, yeah, very cool uh, die cast. Beautiful library. Despite the flaws of the rear pods being sideways, it's still an amazing die cast. And, of course, like... Almost all the DW12 uh, diecasts from 2012 to 2014, they're rare. Like, they're so rare. Like, it's so hard to find these kind of diecasts that are, like, less than $10 with free shipping. I was just lucky to get this for $9.99 plus tax with free shipping. Like, the DW12 diecasts, they're, like, over $10 or, like, over 11 bucks and all that with or, or without free shipping i'm i'm just happy kurt bush's uh 2014 indy 500 car was is cheap still but this right here of course it's one of the rare ones one of the rare die casts so yeah um i'm still happy to get it it's a very very beautiful library got the ma the main color of the car is red got dark blue and on this part, the RC color logo, you got, like, it's lighter blue. I know that. But it's not as light, but this blue is darker. Uh, the main blue colors are darker. You got the silver nose. And, yeah, very good right here. This is diecast number 1281 of the Mark Andretti car. So, yeah. Very cool library. Very cool diecast. Um, fun fact, this is so forgotten, like, Marco Andretti, although he was, like, a mediocre driver, some people think he's a bust, I used to think he was a bust, but I look, the more I looked into Marco, he was not really, because he was, like, a contender at times throughout his full-time career, um, he was mediocre mainly, but not a bust, like, he did have two wins, but he was just mediocre, um, but in 2013, this is actually his best season, despite not winning a race. Um, this is actually a good season for him, st st statistics wise. And hell, he even led the points early in the going of the season. That's so forgotten. I guess he finished like somewhere in the top 10 in points from why, from what I can remember. And it's amazing that Marco actually led the points lead out of all people, Marco Andretti. It's surprising. So, yeah. It's a shame that the rest of his career, he wasn't consistent. So, he was just, sadly, he was just mediocre. So, yeah. When I think of 2013, of course, I think about, like, Izod, uh, Marco Andretti, Simona Di Silvestro battling out of St. Petersburg for the podium. Tony Kanan's Indy 500 win. The epic last lap battle between James Hinchcliffe, Takuma Sato. Um, championship battle between Elio Cashinavis and Scott Dixon. And unfortunately, Dario's crash at Houston. Um, yeah, this was the last year of Izod being the main sponsor. And, and yeah. 2013 was something else. Good times. <sighs> Sorry about that. Uh, Charlie was barking. I had to check what was going on and nothing was going on. Ah, dogs are something. I love dogs and cats and animals. Anyway, but that being said, what do you guys think of this die cast and library? You guys like it? You guys not? And, um, yeah, that is going to do it for an another die cast review. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this uh, die cast review. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content and for more die cast videos or die cast reviews. Uh, this is, like, the last... IndyCar, I mean, the last diecast I purchased, like, last week. Like, the, the Kurtz 2014 and this one. They're not birthday diecasts, just to let you know. I bought these after my birthday. Those are the last two diecasts I got that I'm getting for now. Because, you know, i got to focus on, like, Christmas shopping and other stuff. So, yeah. Save money. Doing Christmas shopping for family. And, uh, yeah, but... Hopefully I get more diecast soon. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I already said the outro again, sorry. Um, 
Thank you guys so much for supporting E Nation. This is the Impressed 48 signing off. And oh my god, the pods will bother me. Oh my god. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Goodbye, everybody.